Karma. Nanny blows the lid off Meg's inhuman actions that put Lily's life in danger, irresponsible. Lily was not her own flesh blood, so she doesn't give a damn if the baby drowned. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex live in Montecito with their two children, Archie and Lilibet. During their filming for their Netflix docuseries, their youngest was captured on camera in a very dangerous position. The scene proves that Meghan and Harry ignored their kids' safety, or because she isn't their own daughter, a young liberate was seen crawling across the grass at their sprawling estate, inching towards the flower beds near a pool without a hedge. The Netflix show had described that Meghan Markle was keeping a watchful eye on crawling Lilibet, but in fact, no one had cared for a little bit until then. Nanny found out about it. The couple's mammoth garden is the large playful place for their two children. Not only is there seemingly endless space for them to run and play, but there's also a hotel with an outdoor pool and a huge play park. However, the nanny reveals that she was having hives looking at the Olive Garden swimming pool and thinking about having small children around it. The lack of childproofing around the pool really bothers me, especially when the baby is crawling near it. In New Zealand, it's against the law to have a pool without a fence of a certain height and a lockable gate. The fact that Megan let a door crawl in the sun and near the swimming pool made the nanny angry. Just because of the staged scene for the Netflix show, she cruelly did bad things to a child. Or maybe it's not even her baby because her mother would never risk their own child like that. Lilibet and Archie have been placed in a life where even little things will create problems because they weren't raised to be part of either society. If a surrogate was utilized, their identity crisis would worsen. Meghan and Harry must address all the lies and misconceptions they created that surround the children. People are so focused on Harry and Meghan's antics now that it doesn't seem like anyone is putting any realistic thought into what life will be like for the children, assuming they exist, as they grow up. If there are kids, they're not hers, so why should she bother? Plus, she only cares for herself and no one else. Why has social services or the American equivalent not been involved with this scenario? If there are kids there, they are at terrible risk, physically, emotionally, socially, and educationally. The doctor who allegedly delivered Megan and Harry's daughter, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, has shut down her practice. This was brought up by the Daily Mail. So, what do we know about this? The doctor's name is Melissa Drake, and she catered to pregnant women in the Santa Barbara area. She cited her health in wanting to spend time with the family, according to an Instagram post. Also, does anyone find it odd that no one knew who Megan's OBGYN was until the story came out? Megan has always said, my kids aren't public property, so back off or something like that. Not to mention, Omid Scobie and Caroline Durand wrote in Finding Freedom that a particular UK doctor oversaw Archie's birth. But the doctor's husband allegedly came out and said his wife didn't deliver Archie as she wasn't working that day. In winter in Montecito hospitals, there are no records of Archie and Lilibet's alleged birth dates. Why is this not the case? Megan had no home birth, so these children were born somewhere, to someone. The drive must have received a tidy sum of hush money. She sure shut her practice down in record time and moved just as fast. My thought is maybe this so-called doctor was nothing more than a smokescreen and not a real doctor but played a part. Megan is also accused of wearing the wrong size moon bump, which means her belly changed during Archie's pregnancy. No one has seen her carrying Lilibet except in the staged kindergarten photo and the other photo with a blanket over the baby, and Harry standing under the same fake tree.